We look now at race number seven on Sunday, and this race is a class four over the 1400 metres. All Riches is on the class drop. He comes back from Happy Valley. Silver Hemmer's on the class drop. Classic Moon goes to the 1400 for the first time. Lost Child, a last start winner from Barrier 11. He's copped a wide draw again. D Star carries eight pounds less courtesy of the Engus Chung claim than last start. Galvanic cheek pieces are off. Divine Era has won his last two over 1,400 metres. Blue Marlin wears a cheek pieces for the first time. Diamond Forever is up to the 1,400. Regent Glory's led up his last two. One, one faded the other. And the blinkers go on number 13. A fantastic choice here, Tom. Pace here. Well, all riches so can go forward. And he's drawn barrier number three. And he's returning to uh, Shartan. Course and distance winner twice. Uh, Regent Glory led up, uh, but uh, weakened in the, the straight. Divine Era is normally handy. United Endeavours got Lyle Hewitson riding uh, now. And he's shown his best form at Happy Valley. Galvanic uh, Diamond Forever Paul should be right behind them. Lost Child though, he's drawn wide. Yeah, wide. Just he'll be looking for cover somewhere. Fantastic choice, went forward in a recent trial. He's got blinkers on for the first time and he's always looked really good in his track work, so his number could be a little bit closer. Classic Moon, I think we'll have to go back. More from the boys in just a moment. Firstly though, Nick with the trainer of Galvanic, it's Jamie Richards. Jamie Galvanic, a uh, very nice horse from your stable. Still yet to win one, but he's, he's racing extremely well. He has. He's been racing consistently, and uh, he hasn't had much luck with the barrier draws, and he's been caught wide a couple of times and gone forward and done a bit of work. And um, On the weekend, he's finally got a nice gait and Zach's on him, so hopefully uh, you know, we can just get a nice sit in behind them, get a bit of cover, and hopefully he can finish off the race strongly. You've opted to take the, the cheek pieces off. Talk, talk me through the process of, of that happening. He was just a little bit keen at the races, uh, sorry, at the trials last week. Um, that was the trial where the, the riderless horse was in and sort of Zach moved over to make a bit of room to let that riderless one through and then they sort of kicked up inside of him and got a little bit messy and he was a bit keen. So we just thought he could either come back to 1200 and leave the cheek pieces on or we leave him at 1400 and, and take the gear off and... Um, with Zach booked for the 1400 metre race, we thought we'd sort of go that way and, and take the cheek pieces off. So um, I think the good draws are help for a horse like him who can be a little bit keen. So hopefully he can just get in a nice rhythm and, and hopefully race well. With that good draw in mind, um, is 1400 metres his trip, do you think, now going forward? Um, I'm still a little, sort of 50 50 on that. Um, but he's going to get every chance from 14, uh, you know, from over 1400 metres from Barry 2 on the weekend. So um, we'll see how we get on. But the horse is going well. He's, uh, he's acclimatised well. He's been racing consistently. And, and uh, if there's any rain around on the weekend, he shouldn't mind a little bit of chip out of the track as well. That is Galvanic. Some of his opposition, though, Paul, include D Star. Now, this is his uh, second. This was last time out. We've also got Hero Icon, who has had a spate of draws, some good, some not so good, and he's tended to go forward in all of those starts. He has, hasn't he? He just might struggle uh, here with this, um, again, wide draw. There's a lot of pace underneath him. I'm going to wait for Hero Icon to get up to 16.50 on the all-weather. That's, that's I reckon, will be ideal for him, being by Rip Van Winkle. I, I, it, there's definitely ability there, not, not in this race, though, uh, for him. It's... Um the other horse in this race, D-Star, the, the barrier draw does so concern me. It's not the first time, Mark, that uh, Paul's jotted down a Manfred Man horse to tell him how to train, is it? No, no, it'd be it was, the Hunter, wasn't it? And it did, and it went well, and he won the other day too. He did. Yeah. Where did you want him to go? Was he your weather or happy? Yeah, and he got beaten right in the post. Yeah, yeah. that's so, why. So this one, I think, is the same. Lucky Swainess yeah. will be next. What should he do with Lucky <laughs> Swainess? Uh, he should go to Champions Day. <laughs> OK, so that's... Uh, that's the boys' thoughts on D-Star and a couple more. What about Regent Glory, Tom? This is the last start where he led up and faded and Blue Marlin runs third. Yeah, he battled to this day. Uh, once he sort of got to the 300 metres, it was all over for Regent Glory. But Blue Marlin actually jumped a bit better last uh, time out. But uh, whether he can replicate that sort of starter again, he was caught wide and he stayed on pretty well, but the, the starts are always the, the query. Until he can string a couple together, that's always going to be in the back of your mind. Yeah, that, that's, that, I think yeah, I agree. Uh, that's why I didn't go in for me. And it's just a little bit of a tricky draw, barrier eight. Cheek pieces will go on him for the first time, so maybe that'll calm him a bit. OK, and there he is on the outside, are running at third in that race. All right, Manfred Lally, who do you like in this? <laughs> uh, the mighty Quinn. No, no, I'm, I'm with uh, Galvanic here on top. I think he'll get the perfect run just in behind. Uh, fantastic choice. Now, Blinker's on uh, him. Uh, he's always showing lots in the morning, this horse. He's drawn awkward in barrier 11, so I think he can get some cover midfield. Uh, Classic Moon, now he had the roaring surge surgery. He's had two starts back and run well in both of them. And Lost Child's over, got, to, got to overcome this wide draw. 7 13 3 5.
Yeah, I like uh, Galvanic uh, here as uh, well. He's been knocking on the uh, the door and uh, chased home a lost child last uh, time out. Trial looked uh, good. Uh, lost child just got an awkward draw, but uh, Hugh Bowman certainly a man to uh, be able to overcome that. Classic Moon, a uh, good uh, couple of efforts from him. And to all riches off the front. He's always in the uh, market. A little bit keen, maybe a bit quick in the first section at Happy Valley last uh, time out, but uh, has run well here, course and distance. Seven, five, three and one. And the favourite punters agree because Galvanic has come up the early favourite. He's at 3.9 and 1.8.